Today's story is The Forgetful Bears, written by Larry Weinberg, illustrated by Randy Cecil. And I'm sure you have forgotten something in your life so far. Maybe you forgot to turn off a light or forgot to bring your hat to a baseball game. But these bears, they go way above and beyond with the things that they forget. Are you ready to begin this story? One spring morning, Mrs. Forgetful woke up and went to the window. What a beautiful day, she said. Wake up, everyone. Let's go to the country and have a picnic. Hooray! Hooray! shouted Sally and Tommy Forgetful. We'll We'll make make the lemonade. lemonade. They ran to the kitchen and squeezed lots of lemons. They added sugar. They added water. Soon the lemonade was ready. Hmm, well, I don't see them having forgotten anything, do you? But they forgot about the picnic and drank it all themselves. Oh, that's what they forgot. I'll wake up, Grandpa, said Mr. Forgetful. But he forgot where Grandpa's room was and walked into a closet. There on the shelf was his bowler hat. Just what I'm looking for, he said and put it on. Then he closed the door behind him and forgot to come out. Soon, Mrs. Forgetful was ready to leave. All right, everybody, she called. Let's go. But she forgot where the front door was. Instead, she opened the door to the closet. Ah, there you are, said Mr. Forgetful, who was standing inside. Have you forgotten that we're going on a picnic? At last, the four forgetfuls found their way out of the house. They piled into their car and drove off. Suddenly, Mrs. Forgetful cried out, Turn back! I forgot the food! Mr. Forgetful headed back for town, but he forgot what street they lived on and couldn't find the house. Finally, Mr. Forgetful suggested they look for their house on foot. They walked up one street and down another. There's our house, cried Tommy Forgetful. No, our house is red, said Sally Forgetful. Hmm, I thought it was blue, said Mr. Forgetful. Well, maybe we've moved, said Mrs. Forgetful. I'm tired. Let's go back to the car. But where was the car? Nobody could remember. Tommy Forgetful had a bright idea. Let's split up, he said. Each bear will walk in a different direction. The first bear to find the car will honk the horn and let the rest of us know where it is. And so the four forgetful bears went their separate ways. Well, nothing could go wrong with that plan, could it? Mrs. Forgetful walked down a street where there were many stores. A supermarket sign said, Big sale today. She forgot about the car and hurried inside to shop. Sally Forgetful walked down another street where there was a park. She forgot about the car and sat down to rest. Tommy Forgetful came to a bus stop. He forgot about the car and hopped on a bus. Mr. Forgetful kept walking and walking. He forgot about the car and walked straight out of town. Meanwhile, Grandpa Forgetful woke up. He rubbed his eyes and got out of bed. Where is everybody? he shouted. Do you remember where each bear is? Or did you forget? He went outside to look. There, across the street, was the family car. What luck, said Grandpa, and he drove off to find the other forgetfuls. Soon he saw Sally forgetful asleep on a bench. Poor child, she's tired, he said to himself. He stopped and carried Sally to the car. A little while later, Grandpa saw Mrs. Forgetful leaving the supermarket. Poor woman, she sure is loaded down, he said. 
He took some of her packages and helped her into the car. Grandpa stopped for a light and saw Tommy forgetful. Poor boy! Why is he riding on the bus? Grandpa honked the horn. Come with us, Tommy! So Tommy hopped off the bus and slid in next to Sally. Where are we going? Tommy asked. It's such a nice day, Grandpa said. How would you like to go for a picnic in the country? What a wonderful idea, said Mrs. Forgetful. Why didn't I think of that? Is there one more bear that needs to be found? So they drove out into the country. Along the road, they spotted Mr. Forgetful, walking very slowly. Grandpa stopped the car. Poor man, you look tired. Hop in, he said. Thank you, Mr. Forgetful said. But I never accept rides from strangers. We're your family, shouted Mrs. Forgetful. I'm your wife, and this is your son, and this is your daughter, and this is your father. Well, in that case, said Mr. Forgetful, I guess I will get in the car. But don't tell me your names. I'm sure they will come to me. So they drove to a lovely spot by the river. They made sandwiches from the groceries Mrs. Forgetful had bought, and they all had a wonderful time. Which they never forgot. I hope you liked this story, and I hope if you're leaving the room, don't forget to turn off the light. <laughs>